the Chinese exchange OKCoin OK did a proof of reserves, and uh, they actually have 104% of um, what reserves they're supposed to have in order to, you know, fulfill their debts and obligations to uh, people who use that exchange. That's that's pretty good, right? Um, an exchange actually having more than uh, the amount of money that they're supposed to have. Yep, that means that OKCoin can, like every single person who has a balance with OKCoin can withdraw all of their money and the exchange would still have some left over. So yeah, that's, that's a really good thing. Very nice. Yeah, and um, this they did this um, in the midst of a growing distrust in exchanges because uh, there's been accusations um, you know, since Mt. Gox had failed, that exchanges operate like fractional reserve banks. Um, like they don't, they can't always uh, release everybody's funds because they don't always have it. So, OKCoin decided to bring in auditors. I think they, I think they use individual or third-party auditors, and they're like, "Look, we have all of your money plus some, so you don't have anything to worry about." Um, and they're also they're also working on a decentralized cryptographic um, account verification system called a Merkle tree system, and it allows individuals to actually verify that the exchange has the full amount of their balance available for withdrawal. So it's wow. kind of like it's kind of like um, an individual auditing system. Wow, that's so, very cool. So yeah, the and there's two other Chinese exchanges that are um, planning on proving their reserves in the near future, uh, Bitcoin China and uh, Huboi. I don't, I don't know exactly how to pronounce Huobi. that, but uh, yeah. yeah. And, and they're all doing this because uh, people are like losing their faith in exchanges, um, even more so considering the recent, we recently had two flash crashes. Uh, the first one was on Bitfinex and the second one was on BTCE. Uh, and so, and that was likely due, that was likely due to margin, uh, margin trading and margin calls. Um, so people are afraid of credit bubbles in Bitcoin. Uh, they're afraid that, especially now that, uh, margin buying is becoming, uh, popular, that, uh, the exchange, uh, the exchanges are, you know, giving other people's money to traders so they can borrow it and buy bitcoins and um so um would you would you mind explaining a little bit about what uh margin trading or margin calling is exactly and like how like why that can cause a flash crash okay so uh margin buying is uh it's exactly what it's called you buy on the margin you basically um you you borrow money from the exchange and then you leverage your investment so if you have like a hundred dollars worth of money and you can buy a hundred dollars in Bitcoin, well, you can actually borrow, you know, another a certain amount of money from the exchange and buy even more. And, um, and it's just a loan. And so then when you sell you, when you cash in on your investment, you pay back your loan and, you know, the idea is you pay back your loan and then have some. So you, you can you can borrow on credit and make an even bigger profit is the goal of margin buying. Uh, but, so it's but a way I, for exchanges to make additional money off of their just their spare money um, lying not, around. Not the exchange, not the exchange, the individual investors. Because um, oh. the exchange can take money they have, loan it to an investor who then buys Bitcoin. Um, and then if they make a huge profit off the, off the Bitcoin... Um, they pay the loan back and then take the difference. And it and theoretically, what you want is um, you want to make a bigger profit than you would have made even after you pay the loan back. Uh, but but where the flash crash comes into play is that um, the exchange is going to make sure that they don't lose money from this deal no matter what. So they set a price. Um, they set a bottom price to where if it go if if it goes below that point. Um, then the exchange would lose money because the investor wouldn't even be able to pay back the principal loan. So they set it. They set a point just above that to where it automatically sells all of that investor's uh, assets that are held in the exchange, and it's just to protect the exchange from losing money. Um, and and this is called margin calling. So what happened with the flash crash is that there were 
a bunch of people who were buying on margin, and so there were a bunch of margin calls uh, set at, at a certain lower level. Um, with Bitfinex, it was at 520. So just as a result of natural trading uh, changes in valuations, the price made its way down to 520, and then you had a huge wave of of automatic sell orders, uh, and it was a result of the exchange, uh, you know, covering their asses, making sure they don't lose money from the the people who were like taking loans out. Oh, interesting. So it's it's basically it's a system of it's a it's a system of credit. And um, it helps investors make a lot more money, but it's also really dangerous because things like flash crashes can happen. Yeah, yeah. So are there are there any like um, like any efforts right now to like mitigate that um, that risk of of flash crashes or to like maybe like cur- like curtail um, margin calling a bit or like is it is it kind of like um, people can choose which ex- exchange they go to and you know they can choose one that allows margin calling or not? Yeah, uh, well, for, well, first off, um, Bitfinex and BTCE haven't actually admitted that it was margin calling that caused the flash crashes. Um, I think it was Bitfinex, they actually took to Reddit and was like, no, actually it was just uh, like a few really large sell orders and we believe it was manipulation, you know, just playing into the, you know, the already, you know, uh, mm. You know, skeptic. The the skeptic. So it's not our fault. It's all our. It's all our customers. Yeah, yeah. They're well. They're saying it's manipulation, just playing into the paranoia. Everybody thinks it's always manipulation when the price goes down. Um, manipulation is just such a vague but, word <laughs> that can mean a million different things. But you know, the general consensus in the community was that both flat, both flash crashes were caused by margin calling. Uh, what you can do to combat it is. Um, uh, you know, major stock exchanges like NASDAQ, uh, they allow margin calling as well, but they also have, uh, I forget what it's called, I was reading about it, they have this uh, mechanism in place to where um, to where when you get a big wave of margin calls, they aren't all, all the assets aren't sold at once, like it, it's like a staggered sell-off, mm-hmm. so you don't have this huge crash. Mm-hmm. Um, so you could implement that. The exchanges could do that, and it would it would help. Um, but you you know, like you said, the customers could always just uh, decide that margin calling isn't or margin buying isn't worth it. It's too dangerous, and then go to an exchange that doesn't offer it. 